what we have here is a sample interaction with a program that we're going to write. You might call this a prototype. So the output of the program starts off by giving a title. Um, and so the program is going to simulate a laundromat where you use a card to wash your clothes, uh, dry them, and it keeps track of how much money it's used and it uh, charges you that amount. So for example, in this, in, in this interaction, it printed out a menu of options and the user chose option one, which was to wash clothes. So that's gonna cost them 225. And then they did some more washing and then some drying, uh, sorry, washing um, and then drying and then washing again and then exited and they gave a total um, once they exited for how much money they had spent. To write this program we're going to use um, a certain strategy where we start very vaguely and then we add more and more detail. And so we're going to call these uh, refinements. And in refinements, we are not writing Java source code, but words that describe what the code will do and sort of what the code will look like, but in a lot less detail. So in general, um, we can tell that there's a repetition in this program. And the repetition deals with the menu. So the menu keeps showing up and the user keeps choosing an option. Uh, they keep choosing an option until they choose exit. So we can write that in pseudocode by saying there's a loop. And there's a lot of ways that you can write this. But I'm just going to say loop and uh, print the menu. And allow the user to choose a menu choice perform the choice so in the case of washing it's going to say washing in the case of drying it's going to say drying and at the beginning, we have a, the title printed. And so basically, that's what the program's doing. It's very vague, not a lot of detail. So we're going to add more detail to this. And what I'm going to do, I'm just, I'm just going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to add more detail to it. So I can say print So once we have a choice, we can make a decision about what to print out next. So we can say if choice is one,
So that's pretty good for a second refinement. You'll notice that I'm not using real Java syntax. This, this program wouldn't run if we put it in BlueJ. Um, and so it's just allowing us to think about a little bit about the program at a time so we're not overwhelmed with all the little details. So now we can start adding details like um, maybe the loop condition. So now we can think about how do we get the loop to finish. So we've got a while loop and we're going to say while the choice doesn't equal three. And I'm not going to worry too much about the input because that's just a matter of using a scanner object. I, I could add that in, I suppose. And so at this point, um, I notice that in order for the while loop to run, I'm going to need a choice variable before the while loop. So I'll say choice equals, I'll just say negative one so that the while loop starts, right? As long as the while, as long as choice is not equal to three, the while loop is going to start. And the other thing I forgot was I forgot to keep track of the total amount of money being spent. So what I'm going to do is make a variable up here and I'll set it equal to zero. And so when they choose option one, I'm going to add that on to Total, same with uh, if, if drawing is chosen, and another thing I'm noticing is that I don't really need this else if uh, statement here. I can just I can just put that immediately after the while loop. So after the while loop terminates, I'll just say exiting. So I'm just going to put it like this. Now I'm not writing out system.out.println. I'm not writing all of that. I'm just saying, because it's pretty obvious what it's going to be. I'm just keeping it very simple. Okay. Uh, same with the input. No need to really put too many details in there. So I've, I've got the, the loop terminating when it needs to. I've got a choice variable. I've got a total. I think I have all the details, but I won't really know until I try it. So at this point, I'm going to open up BlueJ. So I'm going to take what I have in pseudocode and I'm going to convert that into Java, into a running program.
And now I'm ready. I'm going to start with the while loop. double for my total because it's dealing with money. And I set my choice equal to negative one. So once I print out the menu, I'll take the input. And so if it's choice one, I'm going to print out, I'm going to add to my total. the while loop will be exiting so I'll look over see if I've forgotten anything I don't notice anything that I've missed, so I'm going to try running it. Oh, the thing that I forgot was to print out the total at the end. Because in our prototype, it says exiting, and then it says the total.
So we're going to try again. And it looks like it's working reasonably well. Uh, and so we're done. So you might look at this process and say, oh, well, I could have written this program without doing this process. Okay. Now, the point of this using this process is because there will be problems in the future that are too difficult for you to code right off the bat. You might think you can, you might feel very confident, uh, but there will always be a problem that is too difficult to write right away and without any sort of planning. This is a planning and um, it's a way of taking a big problem and breaking it down into small chunks. Okay, so we're thinking about it very sort of a high level, very uh, vague description of the program. And we're gradually adding more and more detail to it. Now, I could have done this with four refinements or five or six. It, it doesn't really matter. The point is don't start putting all the detail uh, right at the beginning. 